All right, guys, down goes Donald Trump. Down goes Donald Trump, at least in civil court. He is ordered to pay a massive $355 million penalty. Is it real? Is it going to stick? Does he have the money? Actually, it's much worse than that for reasons that I'm going to explain. The number's actually higher, and there's extra penalties on top. And what's he going to do afterwards? Those are all huge questions, which I'm going to explain. But first, I want to tell you guys, we're in the middle of a membership drive. Why? Our industry is devastated, and uh, Young Turks is one of the few remaining shows left out here that's an actual network, uh, and we're not beholden to the corporate donors, and the corporate advertisers, etc. cetera. Uh, we don't take their big sponsorships. We don't take money from defense contractors, oil companies, et cetera. We're just relying on you guys. So keep us independent, keep us strong, keep us honest, make us rely on you. And not just generically anybody, but you watching right now. Hit the join button below if you can. It makes a giant difference. Let's go do this show together. Now, let me tell you the rest of the story. So uh, $355 million, but because of interest, it can go over $400 million. Does Trump even have $400 million? Well, I think absolutely not. But on top of that, remember, he has to pay E. Jean Carroll $83.3 million from an earlier civil fraud trial. Now, none of these are criminal. These are both civil. So what was the heart of the case and what are some of the extra punishments? So the heart of the case was he kept lying on the books about his wealth. And now, now why does that matter? In politics, it doesn't matter. You could lie all you want about your wealth, and, and he does. He, he claimed when he first got in the race in 2015 that he was worth $10 billion. It's a preposterous lie. Everybody knows it's a lie. Everyone in MAGA knows it's a lie. Trump knows it's a lie. Everyone knows, right? But by the way, if it's true, MAGA, good news, then this is nothing to him. Oh, that's, you know, you put all of it together, about half a billion dollars. He still has nine and a half billion dollars left. What difference does it make, right? He doesn't have that kind of money. You know he's a giant liar. And in fact, that's the whole point here. He got convicted because he was lying about business records you are not allowed to lie about. You Okay, so I'm going to give you a hilarious example here. By the way, I see uh, the comments here too. And if you've got Super Chats or members that just joined, I'll try to shout it out in the middle. All right, so uh, for example, he has a triple X uh, giant apartment on in Manhattan on Park Avenue, Trump Tower, right? Uh, so it's uh, 10,000 some odd square feet. Uh, let me see if I can find the exact number for you guys. It's right here. Um, 10,996 feet, square feet, okay? So what did he put it down uh, as in his records? And, and I'm going to tell you why it's relevant in a second, too. He put it down as 30,000 square feet because he was rounding up. Okay, that's such a Trump move to take 10,996 and round up to 30,000 square feet. Okay, so, oh, hey, there we go. David Guerrero, thank you for joining. American hero, we appreciate you. So why does it matter, guys? Because when even if the bank is going to give you a loan, and even if you pay it back, they would have charged you a higher interest rate if they knew that your leverage was lower, that you're the, the, what you're putting up as collateral for that loan is not as high as you say. Now you say, well, does that make a big difference? Yes, at the size of the scale of the deals that Trump was doing, it makes a gigantic difference. So for example, 168 million of the 355 was Judge Engeron just saying, hey, you know what? Uh, if the property was valued correctly and you did the math on it, what would the bank have charged? They would have charged this interest rate. So you're gonna have to pay the difference. By the way, again, other than the interest that's, that might accrue from that, in a sense, like if you have no morality and you don't care about following the laws, I get why Trump did it. He's like, look, man, I cheat. I make an extra $168 million by lying about my property. Maybe they pursue me, but maybe they don't. Maybe nobody ever finds out about it. Maybe I never get charged with fraud. So I'll just do it. And if I get caught, I wouldn't have made that 168 million anyway, right? And I would have had to pay the interest, et cetera. That's his internal calculation for why he committed epic fraud over and over and over again. I'm going to get to the rest in a second too. But Interloper Chocolate City, fun handle. Thank you for being an American hero and joining Young Turks. We appreciate you. So now the other punishments I, I got to tell you about. Um, so, and why Trump lost so spectacularly. So, 
The other punishments are he's not allowed to run any New York business, including his own, for three years. Uh, his sons are also banned from running any New York business, including their own, uh, for two years. And both Eric Trump and Donald Trump Jr. also have to pay another $4 million fine. And by the way, we're going to have every detail of this and every story as we do uh, Monday through Friday, every day, 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern, uh, right here on the Young Turks YouTube channel. Watch for the live show. We've got John, me, and so many other people today. Okay, so... Uh, so they're banned from doing business, which really bothers them. On top of that, uh, the court has to has assigned them a monitor, a uh, financial monitor, Barbara Jones, an independent one, for three years. Uh, so what they, uh, what she does is make sure that they're not cheating, and they keep complaining. Stephen Brown, thank you, brother, for the super chat. Uh, so they keep complaining. Well, she's preventing us from doing these things where we'd make more money. Yeah, by cheating. That's they can't get it through their thick heads. You're not supposed to cheat. That is illegal. You're not supposed to lie about your financial records. It's so obvious, but they can't get it in because you know why, guys? They've, he, Trump has gotten away with it his entire life. So he thinks, what? What? I've been doing this for 50 straight years. I lie. I cheat. I take money wherever I can. That's my right as an American. No, it's not. You were just getting away with it because, ironically, you were one of the elites. And because you were rich and powerful, nobody was prosecuting you. So in this case, you got prosecuted and treated like anyone else. And he thinks he's a victim of injustice because for the first time in his life, he has to follow the law like everyone else. So now he can't run any of those businesses. It's not, he sucks at running these businesses anyway. Remember, he's gone bankrupt six times. One of the worst businessmen in the history of America, literally. I mean, he built three casinos in Atlantic City. They all went bankrupt because they cannibalized one another. He's a total schmuck. And, and to that point, why did he lose? Number one, on the facts, he was totally wrong. Number two, the idiot didn't ask for a jury trial. Why? Now, in New York, you think, well, he's not going to get a favorable jury anyway, right? But, brother, you don't know that. Maybe there's a, a firefighter from Staten Island and a random Republican businessman. There's a couple of random magas. At least with a jury, you would have had a shot that there were some Trump fans on there, right? But with a Judge, all he cares about is evidence. So you can't BS a judge. That was a terrible decision. In fact, later when they realized that they made that mistake, Trump was like, oh, they won't even give me a jury trial. And the judge is like, you didn't ask for one, schmuck. By the way, Aaron Botcher and Trisha Briggs, you guys are awesome. Thank you for the super chats. So he didn't ask for the jury trial. Then he starts insulting the judge and threatens the judge's top clerk. What are you doing? <laughs> That's the one guy who's going to decide your fate. Because Trump thinks that he can solve everything with bluster. Oh, yeah, you guys are Trump haters, and I don't like this judge. Hey, child, that's the guy who's going to decide whether you have any money left or not. Now, luckily, he was fair, and he said, look, this isn't about morality, and this isn't about my opinions. This is just about math, right? So I did the math on the profits that he got that he shouldn't have gotten. I did the math on the interest rate that he should have been charged, and this is what the number came out to. But if the judge was actually a person who was more biased or uh, vindictive, he could have gotten a much worse penalty because he kept antagonizing him. Oh, uh, look at this, O Beach Babe 21 oh, gifting 10 Young Turks memberships in the middle of a live video. Love you. Okay, so last couple of things here. Uh, what happens next? So he um, he's going to appeal, of course. And by the way, let's just note for the record, all the MAGA guys and stuff, ah, oh, nah, man, yelling at the judge is a secret genius plan. Not having any evidence is a secret genius plan. Oh, he knows what he's doing all along. What happened now? Does it look like he knew what he was doing all, all along? One of the top things about Trump that is not discussed enough is how deeply unintelligent he is. I mean, anyone knows that if the judge is the only person that could decide your financial fate, don't piss off the judge. But he's like, what? I got it. I don't like you. I think you're drumming. <laughs> oh, you clerk. I'm going to threaten her. Oh, you schmuck. So he got fined $15,000 for that. But who cares about the $15,000? Aggravating the judge is a lot worse. But as I said, the judge was fair and did not take that into account. And he should not take that into account. It shouldn't be personal. It should be just based on the law. Uh, he called the judge extremely hostile judge in the middle of the trial. Oh, my God. He's so dumb. So, uh, guys, the number one problem for Trump is a financial problem. 
But first, Kyle Strudick, thank you uh, for being a member. GWiz911, thank you for being a member. You guys are amazing. You guys make this entire show possible. You allow us to give you reality instead of corporate-sponsored BS. Okay, so look, guys, I don't think he has it. I think there's some chance that he's going to get foreclosed on. Oh, my God, if they foreclose on Mar-a-Lago or Trump Tower or both. He claimed in the middle of the trial that he had $400 million in cash. I don't think that that's a good idea either. And I don't even believe him that he has that kind of money. But okay, you wanted to, you know, you said it. So, okay, if you got the $400 million, go ahead and show us. Because he has to. He's going to appeal. But outside of that, within 30 days, he has to either come up with the money or secure a bond. I'm not sure how he's going to do that. He's going to have to put up the properties as collateral. And if he puts it up, the properties as collateral, he doesn't have the cash. That's my guess. We'll find out if I'm right or wrong, and I'm guessing, okay? But based on everything else about Trump, he cannot manage money. You Like, don't make me go into the six bankruptcies. The guy's a total, he's the worst businessman in the history of the world, and he's a giant cheat. So, MAGA, last thing for you guys. Do you get that in a court, you have to present evidence and have facts and numbers? Because I'm not sure you get it. So when they went to court, if Trump was right, he would get to say, hey, Your Honor, what are you talking about? I valued the property at this, and here's its actual price. You see how it matches, or it's close enough. Uh, Rafal Wojcik, thank you for becoming a member. It, and, and by the way, the judge is not going to be like, oh, you were off by 10 bucks. You were off by 10 million bucks. No, we're talking about giant chasms here. And in fact, one of the things that uh, the judge said was, their quote, their complete lack of contrition and remorse borders on pathological. And he said the defendants are incapable of admitting the error of their ways. Like the lawyers show two pieces of paper. This is what you claim. This is what the reality is. You see how it doesn't come close to matching. They're just numbers. It's not a political opinion. It's not an ideology. It's numbers. This is reality. This is your lie. So what's your answer? You're like, yeah, you, you just take Trump. That doesn't work in court. That doesn't come close to working in court. So he's so he never had a chance because he was lying the whole time. When is it going to get through to MAGA? When after the elections, he lost 60 cases in a row and he never presented one shred of evidence. Why do you think he loses every single case? Because me good, others bad, does not work in court. Evidence works in court. This is the Trump world colliding with objective reality. So if he's broke, man, he's going to be already he's super mad, but he's going to go ballistic. He's going to go. I don't know what he's going to do, but if he's back in charge, then there's going to be hell to pay. Uh, keep it real. So right, wrong, it's going to be wrong, of course, but he's going to unleash on all of his enemies. And the MAGA guys right now are going, yes! I can't believe they made him follow the law. I should follow the law, but not him. He's a beautiful elite. He should get to rob everyone. But man, if he gets in charge for this, for them actually doing justice, we are going to do 10 times of injustice. So if he becomes president, brace for impact. It is going to be brutal. If he doesn't become president, then he's a broke, old, sad man. And look, guys, Libs, you'll be super psyched about that. And ha, ha, he, he. I don't care about that, man. I just don't want him destroying democracy. And yes, guys, he did the fake elector plot. That was a coup attempt. He knew he lost the election. That's a different trial. We'll get to that, okay? But I just don't want him mucking up democracy. I Pick a different populist right winger, one that doesn't want to end our democracy, et cetera, before it goes out. Early Bird 42, thank you for gifting a membership. And Rayon B, thank you for the super chat. So as I wrap up here, guys, uh, yeah, you can go ha-ha to Trump if he loses. But I that stuff makes me uncomfortable. Like, yeah, I get it. And I'll probably do a little bit of it too, right? And you see me being happy about this decision because I don't want Trump to have power. And I want justice. When you break the when we break the law, we suffer greatly if uh, if you're the average guy. When the elites and the rich break the law, they never uh, get uh, caught. So this is a very, very rare case that actually got prosecuted. And by the way, if you're thinking, well, doesn't that prove that it's political? No, Bernie Madoff was also a very, very rare case that got prosecuted. Why? Because both Bernie Madoff and Donald Trump did the cardinal sin 
of stealing from other rich people. In this case, he ripped off the banks. That'll get you in a lot of trouble. Hey, idiot, like when you're running normal scams like Trump University and Trump Charity and you're robbing regular people, you're really not going to get too much punishment for that. They had disbanded it, but he didn't get any kind of this level of punishment. But when you go rip off rich people and banks, there's going to be hell to pay, and this is that hell. And by the way, it's also true because it's the law. All right, by the way, Cozy Delicious, thank you for the super chat. Same with Zachariah Sampson. Uh, 60 guy, you're awesome for joining American Hero. We appreciate you. Hit the join button below, guys. Let's go do this show in a way that actually is the truth and gets to what is reality. And do not get your biases in the way. Just stick with the facts. I love you guys for supporting this show. Everybody check out the live show in the studio, 6 to 8 p.m. tonight, as we do every night, Monday through Friday. I'll see you guys there.